Dear L Loud, day after day I hope and I pine. I'm too shy to come forward, but I wish you were mine. Signed, your secret admirer. Wait, 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 who's it for? L Loud could be any one of us. Clearly the letter's for me. And it's from Bobby. I mean, duh, right? No, not duh. That letter could be for any of us. Okay, we all want the letter to be for us. How do we figure out who it's really for? Simple. Since the writer is clearly shy, we each need to send a signal to the person we think wrote it, letting them know we're interested. Then, they'll probably send a second letter, giving us more information. Um, how do you know all this? Vampires send a lot of secret admirer letters. They may be passionate, but they're also painfully insecure. Sending a signal it is. Because I think you really rock, I give to you my lucky chalk. She shoots, she scores. Oops, flag on the play. <laughs> It's true that I do a whole lot of joking, but I have feelings too, and this pie is a token. I guess you really fell hard for me. <laughs> Get it? Stop it, Luann. We're trying to find love here. Roses are red, McSwagger is sick. My token for you is my favorite pick. Oh, dream on, loons. You're the owner of a lonely heart. <laughs> okay, brown-haired louds. Did everybody deliver their tokens? I bailed, dudes. I'm telling you, there's no way Sam digs me. Some of us blondes would kill to still be in the running. Don't you quit now. <laughs> oh, M, gosh, you guys. The secret admirer is the mailman. He just handed me this letter. I don't feel the same way about him, so I let him down gently. Dear L Loud, here's a third letter, because I'm still feeling skittish. I dig your sweet sounds and love of all things British. <gasps> Luna, it's definitely you! Guys, Lucy was right about what happens next. Listen, I think it's time we put love on the menu. Oh, Meet me tonight at Bangers and Mosh, the British eatery and rock venue. Whoa. This is really happening. What do I wear? Yeah! Kids, what are you guys doing here? Luna got a secret admirer letter from Sim, telling her to meet here. We're here for moral support. And dessert. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. There's been a mix-up. That letter was meant for your father. Wait, Sam likes dad? No, sweetie, I sent the letter. Secret admirer letters are kind of our thing. It's how we met. Back in the day, I had a wicked crush on your father. Every morning at my crossing guard job, I'd listen for his melodious voice. And when he talked to me in that cute accent he picked up from his semester in England, I'd swoon. Hello, love. Pip, pip, mind the gap. <sighs> I was too afraid to speak to him because I thought he was out of my league. <laughs> so I started slipping notes in his pocket as he passed by. <sighs> by my third note, I got up the nerve to ask him to meet me here. And my boldness paid off because here we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of that first date. Best day of my life, love. Oh. <laughs> Luna, I'm sorry that letter wasn't for you. I hope you're not too disappointed. Well, I was at first, but now that I've heard your story, I'm totally inspired. If you took a risk with Dad, why can't I take a risk with Sam? Why are we sitting around waiting for them to come to us? We should go to them! <laughs> this is cause for celebration! Meat pies for everyone! Uh, I, I meant just for my family. Aww. Oh, come on! There's 13 of us! See you later, Sam. Okay, see ya! Hi, Boo Boo Bear. Ooh, cute tux. It goes great with my side salad scarf. Come on, babe, no time to waste. 
Oh, I love this new take charge attitude. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, where are we going? Gus's is that way. Surprise! I'm gonna take you to the best pizza place in the city. Nothing's too good for my little garlic knot. Aww. Why don't you grab us a table while I park the van? <laughs> BRBB. Be right back. What's the extra B for? Babe. <laughs> Bobby? That's right. I don't appreciate being cut off. Yuck. From communication. Well, we didn't appreciate you spying on us. We've all helped out here and know what to do. Look around. Nothing went wrong. How can you say that? The mangoes smell like trout. The milk is facing the wrong way. This can is off by a centimeter. You're being so picky. That stuff doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't need a bunch of kids coming in here and changing everything. You'll understand when you're older. Oh, I think we understand now. You just like the Metacala run in a very specific way. So run it yourself. Yeah, we are done. Later, Hefe. Now what? I can't close the Mercado. Par's gonna need his post-workout protein bar soon. And Mr. Chang's gonna need his coffee for his night shift. Plus, Lori's waiting on me. Oh no, Lori! <laughs> Maybell, I'll be right back. Take your time. Sorry it took so long, babe. Anyway, I was thinking we could get half cheese and half pepperoni. No! Cashews cost a fortune! I said cheese. Oh, great, yeah. Let's let's just get that then. <laughs> What's this? One dinky flower? My babe deserves a bouquet. BRBB -B -B with a B. The last B's for bouquet. You know, Bobby, we don't have time to be waiting around for you like this. Yeah, oh, I need more rich cream. So sorry. It won't happen again. So that'll be $12 for all the cashews you ate, and... Wait! This mango has a bruise! Let me pick out a new one. It's still my turn. No cusses. Bobby, where are you? Bobby, you are literally making me wait. You're sweating a lot. You know what? I'll be our BB. You what? Be right back, baby. Powder is on aisle three. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Flowers. Ah! There. That's better. That's broccoli. Are you okay? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just excited for our date. Well, the food got here. Try this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, babe. My pepperoni cufflinks are coming off. Be right back. See, Bobby. Look at this mango. It's perfect. All right, quit staring at it. You're gonna overripe it. I knew it. You're with your other love on our anniversary. No, Maybelle and I are just friends. Maybe if I was 50 years younger. <laughs> I mean, the Mercado, Bobby. <gasps> no, L Lori. Oh, Lori! Babe, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for tonight to turn out like this. I can't believe you drove me all the way to the city just so you could work on our anniversary. That wasn't the plan. It was supposed to be a really special night. I left Ronnie and Carl and CJ in charge of the Mercado, but they were messing things up. They changed the music to K-pop and they put the mangoes by the fish? That's it? So they didn't upset any customers? Burn the place down? No, but- Bobby, everyone in your family cares about the Mercado. No one would ever let anything truly bad happen to it. Right, but... Maybe they have their own way of doing things, and you just need to trust them. You're right. I'm sorry. I guess I do have a hard time giving up control of the Mercado. It's okay. You're just really passionate about what you do, and I love that about you. Also, you look really cute in your pizza tux. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Hey guys, wanna celebrate our win at the Burpin Burger? Sounds great. Mind if I invite Elliot? <laughs> oh yeah! Can I bring Theo? <laughs> what about Alice? Oh, and Kato? Uh, who now? <laughs> yeah! 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 Yeah!
Are those, like, your dates? Yeah. <laughs> when did that happen? I don't know. Just kind of did. Like, yesterday? During halftime. Right. Well, I was thinking this would be a team celebration. Aww. Aww. But I guess those guys can come, too. Woo! I can't wait! One fire in the belly burger with extra dragon sauce. You know, Lynn, you're the only customer who's been brave enough to order this. Iron gut, baby! Okay, guess I'll just sit in the next booth. Oh. <laughs> guess I can sit in the kitty section. <laughs> so, Maddie, that was a killer C block in our last jam. Uh, Maddie? Maddie? <laughs> All right, time to scout myself a date. Let's see who can keep up with Lynn Loud. On your mark, get set, go! Forget this. There's no way we could beat her. Huh, guess I gotta try something else. Trying? Ugh, I'm sorry. They're just like really, really strong. Thanks. I never skip arm day. Uh, okay, well, this isn't working. Time to change up my strategy. Free burgers! Help yourselves! What's the catch? Oh, no catch. Just want to see who can handle the heat. Wow, this is good. Can I have another? Even better. You can go out with me. Wait, what? You know, like go to my roller derby games and hang out with my friends and me? Can we also get more burgers? Deal. <laughs> Lynn. Dexter. The sweet smell of victory. Yeah, great win, guys. Should we go celebrate at the Burp and Burger? Good idea. Mind if I invite my boyfriend? Woo! Win! Huh? Go win! One fire in the belly burger and one cookie dough shake. Extra chunky. Just the way I like it. Is that cookie dough? Sweet! No, that's mine! Aren't you going to split it? That's what couples do. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was just playing. But if any cookie chunks get stuck in that straw, I call dibs. So, guys, I was thinking about our next match against the Fern Valley Ferrets. <laughs> Oops, got a little mustard on your nose, you messy bessie. Yeah. Huh? Ah! Ow! What the heck, dude? Sorry, you had some milkshake on your face. Maybe I was saving it for later, huh? Think about that. You silly billy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Lynn, wanna play ping pong? <laughs> yeah! I'll grab us some paddles. Thank you for. I was thinking we could play doubles. Kato and me against you and Dax. Uh, who now? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> the old ball and chain. Sure, why not? Got it! <laughs> that was amazing! Just like you! No, you are Victory Hug! Boo-boo <laughs> 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 Bear! I can't wait to show you all the romantic stuff I have planned for our day together. Same here. I made some calls on my drive back. Let's go. Surprise! I thought that we could recreate the first time I asked you out. 
Remember when I left brownies in your locker? Of course I do. But how are we going to get inside? It's Saturday. I didn't think of that. No biggie. I'm sure there's another way in. <laughs> from the school. We can slow down now. No, we can't. I booked a romantic balloon ride and it's leaving without us. Wait, come back. I already paid. <sighs> it's okay, babe. It was a really sweet idea and... <gasps> Boo Boo Bear. Ah, sorry. I keep doing that. You're gonna love this next surprise. Remember our first date? Of course. You wore a tie and showed up two hours early and took me to... Aw, Jean wants French Mex Buffet. Close for health code violations. Come on! Don't worry, Boo Boo Bear. It was still a sweet idea. And besides, I made us lunch plans too. This is supposed to be the most romantic restaurant in town. You literally eat in complete darkness. Ooh, trendy. Hey, babe, I found us a free table. Oh, get off me! Sorry, sir. Poor man with a deep voice. Hang on, Boo Boo Bear. I think I found a light switch. <laughs> Turn that sprinkler off! Oh, my dress. Uh, I'm so sorry, Boo Boo Bear. Hey, don't worry about it. Why don't we just grab some nachos and flips? And maybe some paper towels. Chili cheese and jalapenos. Lori's favorite. Wild cherry and cola. Bobby's favorite. <laughs> Oh, it's hopeless. <laughs> Babe, I don't know what's happened to us. Neither do I. But if it's this hard, then maybe we have to face the truth and think about... Letting go! <laughs> hey, snap faces! Get cleaning! Guess I better wash up before heading back. Grandpa will get mad if the bodega truck smells like cheese or whatever this is. minutes. Is he not coming back? Does he never want to see me again? Bobby? Um, hey, so the bathroom door is broken and I can't get out of here. Oh, hang on. I'll get Flip. Oh, it's a little temperamental. You just got to sweet talk it a bit. <laughs> Dang it. Why don't you owes me a doorknob? Okay, Boo Boo Bear, the fire department's on their way. Oh, I hope they get here soon. You know how terrified I am of confined spaces. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay on the phone with you until they get here. Oh, thanks, babe. So what should we talk about? Um, well, I could tell you about that funny thing that happened in math. Oh yeah, I totally want to hear about that. Oh, and last week for dinner, my dad tried this new thing with cod. Cool, like fish sticks or more of a filet situation. Okay, so would you rather give up all cheeses or all desserts? OMG, hmm, tough one. I know, right? Because what about cheesecake? cheesecake? <laughs> <sighs> this is so nice. And so easy. What did we think was so hard again? I have no idea. I guess I let that one awkward phone call get me all freaked out. Same. Maybe we've been trying to fix something that isn't broken. I mean, we know we love each other. Right? Of course! You're the best thing that ever happened to me! Oh, Boo Boo Bear. Great idea asking for a ride, babe! I know! Isn't it literally so romantic? Yeah. Hey, maybe we could try to finish that movie when we get back, even though I know Nina dies. Oh, come on, man! Spoilers! Okay, Lisa and Darcy are on the left. Scoots and Helen are trying to flank us on the right. Let's move! Yeah. Oh, dang it! Told you not to wear white, Darcy. Yes! A hundred points. We only need 400 more. Ambush! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Sam, cover me! Ha-ha! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for the assist, Butterfingers! Well done, sharpshooters. Took you a little while, but here's your next clue. Pew, pew! Uh, sorry about that, Luna. Laser tech just isn't my thing. That's okay. I get into it, but I know it's not everyone's jam. Anyway, we still got the next clue. 
cow now, brown cow. Don't take a licking. You'll win this round unless you're chicken. Hmm, cow, chicken. Oh, that's easy. Oh, howdy. Welcome to my family's farm. Your challenge is to collect a dozen eggs from yonder hen house. Oh, and you city folk might want to breathe through your mouths. <laughs> Look pretty sharp. All done. One dozen eggs. Chill, dudes. <laughs> Here's your next clue. Sorry I messed that up. Farms aren't really my thing. That's okay. I mean, I love them, but I get they're not for everybody. <laughs> we'll just avoid any dates that involve lasers and livestock. <laughs> <laughs> All we gotta do is make it across the pond. Luna, hoist the mainsail. Um, yeah, the, the mainsail. Right by the boom? That pole. Right, the pole. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oof. Ah! Well, we got the clue. I'm sorry about that, Sam. You know, sailing's just not really your thing. Then why didn't you just tell me that? I just wanted us to have something in common. <sighs> Haven't you noticed? We've kind of got nothing. Yeah, I noticed. It's such a bummer, because I kind of thought we were perfect for each other. Me too. Well, what do you think? Should we call it quits? Well, we've come this far. We, we might as well finish the quest anyway. You know, as friends. Right. Friends. Well, I guess I should read the last clue. One last challenge and then you can gloat. This astonishing quest ends on a sweet note. You made it, girls! Congratulations! Let me show you to your station. Your last challenge is to bake an apple pie. Good luck. Ooh. Bacon is not really my thing. thing. <gasps> okay, two sticks of butter. One cup flour. Two cups of lard. And uh, maybe we should mix it up now. <laughs> Special is down, folks. We have our quest winners. Scoops and Helen were the first to finish the final challenge, and bonus, their pie is delish. Congrats, ladies. <laughs> well, we didn't win, but I had a lot of fun today. I think I was wrong before. I, I know we don't have a lot in common, but maybe we can discover new things we both like. You know, like, together. I'd really like that. And uh, next time, I'll try not to hit you with any lasers. <laughs> and I'll try not to spit any juice on you. <laughs> there he is! Luann, these are for you. They're from our garden. Wow, daisies. Oh, they smell so fresh. And this is for you, my lady. <gasps> oh, wow, wood polish. Mmm, smells so musty. So, Luann, you ready for a fun day? Are you kidding me? She's been counting down the seconds. <laughs> oh. Oh, paddle boats are way harder than I thought. I'm getting a little sweaty here. Oh, oh no. Am I sweating too? <gasps> oh, uh, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a splash. <laughs> <laughs> Luann's hilarious. You just never know what she's gonna do next. Indeed, Benjamin. She's a keeper. <gasps> oh, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, Luann. 
Are you having the best time ever? No, the worst. I sweated all my makeup off. Can you bring me those makeup samples from Miguel and meet me in the park bathroom? <gasps> Lola used up all the makeup. What? Mr. Sprinkles wanted to see what he'd look like as a princess. Dashing, I might add. Uh, just grab my emergency clown bag in the trunk and hurry. Look, the photo booth is open. We can snap a few. Uh, not now, Mr. C. Hey, Luann, is this the right bag? Yup. Sorry, Lincoln. Now, where's my face paint? <laughs> Love the new look. Oh, you know me. Always clowning around. Wow, Benny, this picnic is so nice. Care for a macaron? My mom and I made them last night. Yes, please. And he bakes. Hang on to this one. Yeah, look, a clown! Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't a great idea to dress like a clown in a park full of small children. I need a new cover for my zit. Copy that. Cover, cover, cover. Get your flippies here! Now also serving hot dogs! And for a limited time, cotton candy! Ho, ho, ho! Got any more of those cookies for Santa? Wow! All the way from the North Pole! Want to play some chess? Hmm, if I move my bishop here... ...and just leave your rook flapping in the breeze? <laughs> but then Luann will probably move her queen there. Hey, hey, scram, would you? This is my turf! Sorry, gotta pee real quick. Oh, oh okay. We'll be here. What do you think of my new look? Too corny? <laughs> no, I love it. Okay, I finally made my move. It's your turn. Mm. <laughs> Looks like somebody's got a crush. Uh-oh. Sorry, I, uh, gotta go, uh, charge my phone. But you just got back, and we don't have that much time left. Won't be long. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, On the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> Are you okay? I've been better. Luann! Benny, it's six o'clock! <laughs> Everybody, form a wall! Uh, hey, Luann. And all of Luann's siblings. Is everything okay? I I'm really sorry, but my mom is on her way to pick me up. No, I'm sorry. Today was supposed to be about spending time together. But now our date is almost over, and I've spent the whole time hiding from you. Why have you been hiding? Oh, I'll show you. What? what? No! no! Guys, it's okay. I've been hiding this. I understand if you don't want to hang out with me anymore. I mean, who wants to date a girl with a gross pimple on her cheek, right? Um, I do. I don't care if you have a pimple. You're still you. You're sweet. You crack me up. <laughs> and you're so much fun to hang out with. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Emma, will you be my date to the Valentine's dance? I'm really sorry, Clyde, but I just want to be friends. What's wrong, sweetie? Are you hiding from someone? I'm hiding from everyone! I got rejected in front of the entire school! It was humiliating! I can never go back! But Clyde, isn't the Valentine's dance tonight? You were really looking forward to it. And what about all those desserts you've been prepping all week? I'm not going to the dance. <gasps> I resigned from the committee and gave Cheryl the number for Jock's Bakery. But honey... <sighs> I don't really want to talk about it anymore. I just want to go home. 
<sighs> hmm? Graziana, will you go to the Valentine's Bar with me, huh? Yes, I would love nothing more. <gasps> Dad, why are you watching this? Please turn it off. Uh, not that one. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I thought Il Ballo Finale was one of your favorites. It was until today. <laughs> Buddy, I really hope you're coming to the dance. Where are you at, dog? You're missing all the fun. Principal Huggins' teepee just fell in the pinch bowl. <sighs> Autocorrect, toupee. His toupee just fell in the punch bowl. Hey, sweetie, it's Cheryl calling. I know you don't want to talk to anyone from school, but she said it was urgent. <sighs> Hi, Cheryl. Sorry to bug you, sugar bun. I know you resigned from the dance committee, but we have got a 911. The bakery delivered the wrong cake. Now, I'm real happy for the new mommies, but we cannot serve baby shower cake at a Valentine's dance. Is there any way you could come fix it? I'm sorry, Cheryl, but no. Please? You're the only one who can get us out of this pickle. <sighs> Ooh, I love the stash. It's like a little caterpillar died on your face. Can you fix it? Hmm. It's not going to be easy, but I think I can do it. No! Ooh, it is gorgeous! Do you want me to cut you a little slice for the road? No, thank you. I should get going. Well, all right. Mm. Oh, Cheryl, what are you doing? Clyde? Hmm? Clyde? Who is it, Clyde? My name is Jook. I am the beggar of the cake. <laughs> You're funny. Hey, um, I wanted to tell you something. Uh, go ahead. You're probably just gonna tease me about my big rejection, right? Tease you? No way! I wanted to tell you that your dance proposal was really sweet. It must have taken so much courage to put yourself out there like that. Oh, thanks! And that Italian cassata cake you asked her out with looked amazing! You could totally be a contestant on Operation Dessert Storm. That's my favorite show! Mine too! So, who ended up being your date? Oh, no date. I just came with my friends. Well, I should head back to the dance. Have a nice night, Clyde. Ask her to dance. Ask her to dance. <laughs> Chloe, wait! <sighs> I know the dance is almost over, but would you like to dance with me? Yeah, that sounds fun. I love this song. Me too. After you. What's going on? Step right up. Get your skewer noodles. <laughs> That's Gavin. He just joined the Spaghetti on the Stick family. Oh, my gosh. Time for the caboose of truth. <gasps> you have a crush on Gavin. Shh, fashion show voices. Okay, yes, you're right. I do. <laughs> Why are you being so secretive? You're a great guy, Miguel. You should totes go for it. You'll find this hard to believe, but I'm not always the witty, suave style icon you know and absolutely adore. Huh. When it comes to affairs of the heart, I'm a totally nervous klutz. Awesome. Awesome. There's no way I could ever approach someone as cool as Gavin. Did you see the height he gets on those meatballs? What if you didn't do it alone? What if I helped you land your crush? <gasps> My new sunglasses! And I just happened to hear Gavin say he was spending his day off here. I mean, lucky for us, I was hiding behind his car listening to him on the phone. <laughs> right? Oh, you're the best bestie ever. So what's the plan? Ride the curdler with him and pose stylishly for the screen cam? 
Nope. We're just going to get on the same seas of cheese boat as him, so I can talk you up. Genius! And for backup, I still have all the stylish poses I practiced. Wow. Mm. <gasps> Excuse me. So sorry. <clears throat> Our friend is up there. <clears throat> Gavin? What a surprise. Oh, hey, Lenny. Hey, Miguel. Miguel, look! It's Gavin. Gray! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I started to say greetings, but then I switched it to hey. Ugh. Next boat. This one's full. Wait, no, he's with us. Oh. Oh, I love this song. I could listen to it all day. Me too. My sister Luna thinks I'm totes uncool because I sing it in the shower. Ooh, you know who is cool? Miguel. Last month, he competed in a triathlon. The events were yoga, modeling a man purse, and providing fashion commentary during an award show. He came in first. <laughs> Lenny, I know what you're doing. You do? Don't worry, I got the message, and it's all good, because I feel the same way. <laughs> I think it's sweet that you've been so nervous about talking to me that you've been hiding behind Miguel. Wait, what? I mean, I hid behind your car, but not behind Miguel. You don't have to worry. I think you're cool too. And I'd love to get to know you better. Oh, no, no, no. I am not cool. Miguel is cool. I'm sure Miguel is great, but I like you. <gasps> Lenny, what are you doing? Uh, I dropped my phone. Sail on without me. <sighs> Out of the boat before I could talk to Gavin about you. Well, oh, thanks for trying, Lenny. You're a good friend. No, the best friend. Now get home and wash that cheese off before your skin curdles. Ugh. Timmy, this is a nightmare! Ah! I tried to connect Gavin with Miguel, but it turns out Gavin is interested in me. If Miguel finds out, our friendship will be over forever. <gasps> You're right. I just have to make sure Miguel never finds out. You're a wise cow, Tippy. Lenny, the pasta I'd make you is penny. You're my one and only. Be the breadstick to my cannelloni. Oh, Gavin, you're sweet. And that penny does look delicious. But we need to talk. <gasps> I know you're mad, Miguel, and I am so sorry. I've been doing my best to avoid Gavin because I would never want to hurt you. Well, I am hurt. I understand if you don't want to be friends anymore. No, silly. I'm hurt that you think I'd be mad at you. Lenny, you're the kindest, sweetest person I know. I would never think you were trying to steal Gavin. Really? I'm touched that you would avoid him to spare my feelings, but I'm all right. Actually, I think you and Gavin would make a cute couple, so I'm totes cool if you want to get to know him better. You are? Of course. You're my BFF and I want you to be happy. B double I G. I'll bring it in, girl. Okay, caller. I changed my mind. Hang up. Okay, I'm good. Caller. Nope. Hang up, hang up. Um, what's going on? Okay, from what I understand, my raccoon's a little rusty. The lady on the framed turkey label is Flip's old middle school crush. Um, Tommy Hobblesfort? Tammy Gobblesworth. Ah, my one true love. I always thought she and I would eat food off of other people's plates together forever. But then I got locked out of the school dance and missed my one shot to impress her. <laughs> Ever since Flip found the label, he's been attempting to call and ask her to dinner. But he keeps chickening out. Hey, chickening out is a bit harsh. Flip, you can totally do this. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, you're Flip Filipini. You're a legend. Uh, I suppose I am pretty flip-tastic. Okay, give me that phone. 
Gobblesworth Farms. How can I help you? Tammy Gobblesworth, please. Tell her it's Philip Philippini calling. Philip Philippini? What a wonderful surprise. Oh, I am gobblesmacked. <laughs> oh. oh, Philip, are you there? Flip, say something. <laughs> oh. Uh, you bet it's old Flip, uh, Philip. <laughs> What's shaking eggs and bacon? Hey, you want to catch up over some grub? Say tomorrow night at Lynn's table, 7 o'clock. <gasps> oh, I'd love to. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> she was supposed to be here by now. She's not coming. I know it. Oh. It's her. Flip's frozen. Relax. I anticipated this. Yeah. <laughs> Tickle socks? You're a genius. <laughs> Tell me something, Mensa, the Nobel Committee, and I don't know. Uh, hey, Tammy. Hey, how about this weather, huh? <laughs> it's so humid, I'm pitting by 9 a.m. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it's the pits. Look at you. You've changed so much since middle school, I almost didn't recognize you. Yes! Isn't Philip sophisticated? Now let's eat before he blows everything. I mean, can I tell you tonight's specials? Oh. Now on to the extra classy second part of the date, the opera. Oh, how lovely. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll be right back. <laughs> ah, you did your best, Lounsters. I blew it with Tammy. <gasps> blew it? Yes! <gasps> hey! Oh, Philip, are you okay? And where are your pants? <laughs> uh, I gotta level with you, Tammy. Uh, I'm not a fancy tuxedo wearing guy who oozes sophistication. The only thing I ooze is nacho cheese. Seriously, my sweat is orange. I was only trying to impress you because you're so classy and glamorous. I'm not classy, I'm just gassy. We actually have more in common than you think. You know, all that glitz and glamour, it's just for the magazines. You know, I got turkeys to sell. But when I'm at home, I'm more like this. <gasps> well, this is the real me. <laughs> I was late for dinner because when I got to the restaurant, I saw you all gussied up and went home to change. I was trying to impress you, too. <laughs> that boy, we're a couple of ding-dongs, huh? Hey, look, why don't we start the date over at the food and fuel? We can sit on my dumpster lid and look up at the stars. Then move not while my prayers affect I take. Wait, uh, I have an idea. Um, um, instead of a kiss, why doesn't Juliet just, uh, send Romeo a text? A text? Yeah! I think a kissy emoji and a heart would really get the message across. Luan, what you are suggesting is... You are genius! A modern take on a classic. Bravo! Prop department, I need cell phones for Romeo and Juliet. Bravo! Hey, Mrs. B. I'm ready for rehearsal. Been doing some thumb strengthening exercises for my big texting scene. You've done them in vain. Rehearsal is canceled until I can find a new Romeo. What? What happened to Benny? He up and quit. He suddenly remembered he has a conflict with chess club. Chess club! Oh, check and mate. I was a fool to leave the dinner theater circuit. This doesn't make any sense. Benny isn't even in chess club. Hi, Benny. Hey. I heard you quit the play. Yeah. How come? Honestly, Luann, because of you. 
it's clear you aren't comfortable with me playing Romeo. No, just the opposite. Oh, the only reason I wanted to be in the play is so I could spend some time with you. Really? Then why did you keep finding ways to avoid kissing me? I... no, oh, it's not you. It... Uh, it's... never mind. She was nervous because she's never kissed anyone before. Mr. Coconuts! What? Someone's gotta say it! Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, Benjamin's never kissed anyone either. <gasps> Mrs. Apple Blossom! Oh, you weren't supposed to tell. Well, I gotta say, that's a load off. Luann didn't want to embarrass herself in front of old Benny Boy. Just between you and me, she's sweet on the guy. <laughs> Really? Uh, Benjamin rather fancies her as well. He does? I mean, you do? <laughs> well, Mrs. Apple Blossom, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh!